वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते सुनील जी, जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम सो फ्रॉम टुडे वी कैन स्टार्ट आवर शेयरिंग्स अगेन सो दीदी वी हैव टू शेयरिंग्स टुडे जी वन इज बाय डॉक्टर रचन चंद्रगला दीदी एंड अनदर बाय अमरेश पटेल जी सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द शेयरिंग ऑफ चंद्रगला दीदी नमस्ते चंद्रगला दीदी नमस्ते नमस्ते सुनील कुमार भैया नमस्ते शर्मिला दीदी नमस्ते टू ऑल माय डियर को एक्सप्लोरर वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल दीदी आई विल प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस यू एंड देन यू कैन प्लेस योर शेयरिंग बेस्ड ऑन द इंडिकेटर्स विद इन 20 मिनट्स ओके भैया या चंद्रगल दीदी शी इज अ प्रोफेसर एंड हेड इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री कल्पतरु इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी Tiptur, Karnataka. She completed her uh, introductory USP workshop in October 2022 and USP two in February 2023. And she has joined the morning sessions from the sixth batch onwards. Uh, she is a potential volunteer uh, for the activities of USP. So, with this brief introduction, I welcome Chandrakala Didi for her sharing in the morning session of the seventh batch. Didi, over to you. Please uh, confine your sharing to within twenty minutes. Didi, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Baya. Thank you for introducing me. Uh, I am Dr. H. N. Chandrakala, professor and head in the Department of Chemistry, Kalpatru Institute of Technology, Tiptur, Karnataka. Also, as a warden of Kalpatru College Girls Hostel since two thousand six, I have. 26 years of teaching experience in the same institution about my family we are three members in the family myself my husband and my daughter my daughter is pursuing her degree in bangalore and my husband is agriculturist and we are staying in tiptur that is our working place both my in-laws and my father family are doing agriculture and business I started my UHV journey from October 2022, and in the uh, UHV one introductory workshop, workshop through online, and also I did UHV two FDP program in February 13 to 18, 2023, online. I am very much content uh, connected with the UHV content, but my exploration started in the morning session. shift in my living system i feel uhv3 is little bit tough for me and very interesting it gives more clarity to my life i am a kind of person not to share my problems with anyone and feeling feeling of insecurity fear struggle struggle for survival these are my deep rooted sanskar in uhv3 i am working with this root, uh, deep rooted sanskar compared to earlier i am very much calm happy and comfortable my relationship with my husband and my daughter is improved when i prioritize relationship and physical facility with my right understanding right understanding means see the existence as it is i am putting my effort to know this nowadays i can able to do my in interaction and activity in the family and working place with the mutual happiness and mutual fulfillment compared to earlier i am referring my natural acceptance for my desires and expectation my expectation level in the relationship is reduced i responding rather than reacting largely in my interaction nowadays but i disturb with the external triggering however resolve it quickly with my contemplation compared to earlier i slowly moving from competitions to excellence still i have to resolve my ego getting happiness Chandra through ji, the test chandrakala ji if you would um, relate it to particular incidents what you are mentioning all these terms that you are mentioning if you could relate it to actual incidents in your life people yeah. will be able to relate to it better and also um, 
the stepwise sharing of what you have gotten from the exercise. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And regarding that uh, relationship with the family, usually uh, I was concentrated uh, with the physical facility because of that only the clashes is happening with my husband. I realized that I prioritize it. Prioritize that with my right understanding. Yes, relationship is more important than the physical facility. After I my realization about this, I can observe uh, in the family. I have a good relationship. I am calm and composed with my uh, husband, and also more expectation. I expected more from my daughter. That is, in her education and her behavior, she has to listen to me because I am her mother. I am a. I always uh, do the favor for her. I spend the money, uh, invest the money for her fees or something like like that. My thoughts were going on earlier. Now I realize that she is also one of a self like me. She, with her sanskar, she can do the work. So I accepted her as it is. So after I think in that way, now my relationship with her also uh, improved or better. And uh, I am not getting happiness through the tasty food and watching movies, listening music is comparatively reduced. I am not much disturbed if the student performance is poor and when they do mischievous behavior. I, I slow down my activity to observe myself. I feel that I want to be alone. Regarding my understanding about the nature and coexistence in the UHP3 journey, I can able to see more and more and more complexity when we move from physical order to bio order to animal order and the human order. I can able to see the definite conductness in all the three order except that human order. I can also see the formation and deformation in all physical units and also submergence of all material units and conscious units in space. But I should develop my competent level to see space the existential reality. I can able to see self-organization in all units. Earlier, I thought that I should do something to protect the nature. But now I have feeling that I should live my life without intervening in their inheritance nature of the nature. Nowadays, I have a feeling I am not special. I am also one of the unit in the nature. In the institution, I always take an initiative to conduct an environmental awareness program under science forum, like a plantation, plant distribution, plastic free campaign, etc. This year on June 18, we conduct a plastic free campaign for all the first year BE students. And in the student activity program, I guide our students to do rainwater harvesting survey in the town. Through this, students can understood the conservation of water and their importance. Spread the same in the public also. In our house also, we have a rainwater harvesting system and I took initiative to do the same in our hostel also. I have a good practice of right utilization in my living. I am not waste usually the any material or any product. I think always to reuse the product for some other application, even there is any damage in the product. Earlier, the feeling behind this is I cannot afford the cost to purchase the new one. But now my perspective is changed. I am prosperous and my also see the prosperity in nature. Gradually, my feeling of deprivation is changed to prosperity. This feeling of prosperity is reduced my shopping crave. Earlier days, 
all my activity is a uh, body centric now it is gradually shifting towards the the self centric from the uhv journey i understood human being is a coexistence of body material unit and self conscious unit activity of the body is not continuous and i recognized my body through the sensation and self is a conscious unit its activity is continuous self is used the body as a tool or an instrument to express the feeling to outer world and to see the activity of self imagination thoughts feeling body is not required i get this clarity with the exercise 1 and exercise 2 exercise 1 observing the self by the self i can't be a pure observer all the time because sometime i flow with my thoughts but i able to observe my thoughts and the imagination my thoughts and the imagination developed is on the basis of my desire and expectation so for example for example i was arranged the food for the students and the staff from our hostel on college fest while serving the food i saw that two items were closed but still some students were standing on a queue to get the food i observed my feeling on that time i am not comfortable or happy because my desire is to provide all the items to all the students this feeling is not naturally acceptable to me here i have a mistress about the cooks and serving serving team so my thoughts are developing like they are not done their duty correctly i doubt their intention and i don't want to continue in this feeling also i am not comfortable when i am doing something and feeling something example in the last month for hostel work we received the quotation from the two sheet workers i know i know both of them and their workmanship also i recommended one person whose workmanship is good with my previous experience but our secretary sir wished to give the work for the other person i try my level best to convince him he told me that he will do best in this at this time i said okay and we start to work with him but when i observe my feeling i am in unhappiness because the state of contradiction it not gives a harmony or happiness i verify my feeling lead to the unhappiness it is due to mistrust with the person this decision is not based on my natural acceptance it is based on my preconditioned assumption i am unhappy at that moment it is not due to the worker or a secretary it is due to the my decision this decision is taken by me that means my decision is taken by me that means my state of happiness is in my hand if i took at the basis of my decision it is not on the basis of right understanding and it is on the basis of assumption and preconditioning it leads to the unhappiness next right understanding to ensure the right feeling and natural feeling fear insecurity is not the right feeling from the last two years in the engineering colleges there is a news from the university that the basic science subjects are made optional or may removed i was so disturbed with this news earlier this year also i heard the same news i disturbed because i have a feeling of losing my job the same news i heard in this year also i decided that i am coming from agricultural family i can support my husband work agricultural work to fulfill my livelihood of our family this decision keep me in comfortable state because the decision is on the basis of my right understanding means accept the reality as it is i able to notice that when i am happy 
I share happiness within my family and in my working place. So I need to develop my right understanding, relationship, harmony, and coexistence to share the mutual happiness. In exercise two, observing the self and the body, body and the self. I observe my body through the sensation, the interaction between the body and the self through only instruction. And these informations are important to me. Day before yesterday, I was doing the evaluation of the test blue book. I observed that there is a discomfort in my lower back. This sensation is important to the self. Along with this sensation, there are so many sensations, but the, the self read this sensation, it is important to it. Because still so many booklets were there to evaluate. And next day, I have to submit the marks. So self decide and give the instruction to the body to apply the pain bomb so that I can complete the work or a task at that time itself. Also, I observe that self is not read the sensation all the time from the body. It reads time to time only. Sometimes when I am very much busy with my work, I am not aware about my hunger and forgot the lunch time also. Who decides to read the sensation? I, one who decides. In the last Saturday, I am busy with my clean, cleaning the room. TV news were running in the hall. I heard, I heard one word in the news that is the breast cancer awareness program by the doctor team. Doctor was saying, ladies, after the age of 40 years, they should go for the mammogram screening test. When self read the sensation, Consider it is important to me because my body age is above 40 years and also my close friend is suffering with the breast cancer. So it decide to watch this awareness program rather than cleaning the room. Here, I associate the meaning based on my right understanding. I am at the age of 50. I should aware about this health issue. But I am not always give the meaning to the sensation with my right understanding. By that time, I am uncomfortable. I understood that sensations are very important to know the outer world and also for the self-regulation. I should develop my competence to see the last step. Change me my living. Nowadays, I reduce to eat the spicy food, tea and coffee. I have a practice of morning walk and doing pranayam. I share my things to other with a good feeling. I start to observe my new things, patiently hearing others. I devote two hours average for understanding the UHV content every day. Regarding my commitment, I am sorry, I am not doing volunteer any volunteering work. But I initiated my work in Canada team. I know the importance of volunteering work because of my schedule and personal problem. I have not done. Sure, I am sure, Didi, I will continue the volunteering work. I will do it. And uh, I, myself, and my colleague and friend, Nirmala Didi, uh, wish to open the UHV cell in the institution level. But even though I am not uh, done a volunteering in the team, uh, UHV team, I spread this knowledge when I am conducting the meeting in the hostel with uh, how much it is possible. Um, also, when I conduct the meeting and discuss with the, my hostel workers, and also while taking the class uh, for the students, I take I take five to ten minutes to share this UHV contents with my knowledge. With this note, I would like to thank all the UHV team members and my sincere gratitude and pranam to Sharmila Didi, Kumar Bhaiya, and all my dear co-explorer 
I would like to thank my institution and my family members. Thank you. Thank you, one and all. Finished within time also. Thank you so much for that. And your exemplification is very useful to all of us, for sure. Yeah. You are a potential volunteer. That's why I said in the beginning itself, you are a potential volunteer. And you can do volunteering depending upon your time. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Now, I mean, um, yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Now we can take a quick question from uh, Srinivasa Gupta ji before we go to Shamla Didi's comments. Srinivasa okay. Gupta ji, Namaste. Namaste, yeah. uh, Namaste to all my co-explorers. Namaste, Chandrakala Didi. Uh, my question is, uh, uh, due to, uh, due to uh, your uh, behavioral pattern, uh, do you find, do you observe any uh, yeah. transformation or any change of behavior in your family members? Just I would like to know. Actually, uh, I observe my behavior that uh, I have a mistrust. Means I repeatedly say in the things, uh, the work of any proposal to my husband or my daughter and in the hostel also. Uh, I observe. I thought that I want to execute the work in the right time. But, yeah. but when I do that contemplation, I know that I have not uh, believed that my husband or a daughter, I have a doubt in their intention. That is the thing, it disturbed me between me and my husband. He don't want to uh, listen my uh, uh, proposal repeatedly. So the quarrel will, uh, is, uh, was started. I When I realized that I am not, I thought that I want to execute in, in time. No, that is not the issue. My feeling is I doubt their intention. That's why I am repeatedly saying. So when I realize that I am not saying that things repeatedly, I observe that my our relationship, when I have a trust with him, our relationship is improved by yeah. And also nowadays, he is saying that whenever I ask regarding preparation of a food and all, uh, what you need, shall I prepare this or not like that? He told that, so you are asking now. So means uh, this word indicates me that earlier I am not concentrating on what he needed. So I am busy with my work with the rat race. So that changes I noticed by him. Very nice, very nice. Thank you very much. Your sharings are very much useful for our self-exploration also. Thank you, Didi. Thank, Thank you, Baya. Thank you. Thank you, Baya, for the question. And Didi has explained it very nicely. Uh, we can also go to uh, Jagadishji's question very briefly. Namaste, Jagadish PVG. Namaste, Baya. <coughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, Didi, I just have a couple of questions. Uh, the first one is, uh, because you are very crisp and it was very surprising, have you written down all of what you are reading, number one? And number two, you said you, you were saying something repeatedly and you had an issue of mistrust. So have you mm -hmm. tried saying one thing in the same way repeatedly or you have used a different way of saying uh, to overcome that? Because uh, that pattern of saying would not change immediately. But is there a method which you have adopted to, to say differently or what you have done after understanding UHV because you said about your husband's reaction, which was very commendable. Uh, but what was the shift in which it has happened? Have you tried differently or what was that different which you have done? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I make the uh, note, Baya, this I make a write because uh, to uh, do that uh, sharing, uh, I need that content in a right of formation. I feel comfortable uh, because I cannot recall all the points uh, stepwise. Uh, that's why I make a notes. By, yeah. That is the first one. And uh, another one, uh, I, I already told that uh, I repeatedly say, for example, he, I, I thought uh, he's doing agricultural business, so, sorry, work. So he has to go for the native place to take care of that uh, work. So I asked him to go, uh, whether you are going today or not. Then he say yes or no, uh, like uh, by the time, uh, in after 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I changed the way of saying that. So we have to uh, 
if i go, if you go today so we will get uh, this work like that i will say in some other way so this is how i plan to push him to go for the work so it it it, it irritates him now i realize that he will do his work when i uh, uh, kept myself i am not telling that work to him i observe some period like a, a like one month two months i observe he started to do his work my disturbing my disturbance is passed on to him so that the clashes is happen so even i am not telling the thing he is doing when i do the uh, uh, when i tell the same thing he is not doing sometime it happen because uh, because of my words so that i notice it and i stop to say are assign the work for you now it's going on well thank you i hope i i answered your question yeah to an extent thank you and uh, didi for the response now we uh, move on to shamla didi's uh, comments and remarks regarding chandrakala didi's sharing shamla didi over to you ji namaste chandrakala ji namaste didi namaste very nice sharing um throughout the session also often you had your um uh, you know questions and uh, you were quite interactive in the discussions so uh, it's good to see that in this short time you are able to explore quite a bit and you are able to make become aware of so many of your own shortcomings and sincerely put them forward and work on them and see results also so that is quite remarkable for this short duration in which you are you have been exploring of course there is a long route to go there are many many more things to learn more things to understand and that will come with time but the fact that you are able to make these changes in yourself to observe the importance of the relationship in your family all of that is very significant and so thank you for sharing all of that i am sure that it will resound very well with many of the other uh, participants who are all also exploring a little more depth of course will come with time in the exercise the points of the exercises and as that depth comes will come you know more understanding that is part of the process that is how it works so that will take some time but like sunil ji also mentioned i will mention this what ganesh ji was also mentioning yesterday or day before that these three things are very closely linked self development team development and society development and they feed one another so your self development gets enhanced when you work with the team and you work you know for the societal development and when you are in that process you know it works both ways so your self development um the progress gets enhanced at the same time you are working for the society also so in the beginning it may seem like you don't have much time for all of this but you will find as you you know make time for this after all you know we make time based on what we think is important you will find that as you make time for this you will actually be saving some time in terms of you know what we do the drifting of our thoughts um getting lost in our imagination from time to time all of that becomes less and less as our um, self development improves as the transformation keeps going forward so i will also suggest that uh, yes do volunteer and uh, continue with this journey of course next session uh, after the sharings we will come back to exercise 1 and 2 and we will be doing them 
uh, in a more slower process so that there's ample time for exploring every step. So, of course, we, we expect that you will continue uh, to be there and to work with us for that. And, of course, keep sharing your experiences, your explorations. All the very best to you. Thank you, Didi. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, helping every one of us, for sure. I'm sure Chandragala Didi will be uh, volunteering in uh, the near future itself. Didi, uh, thank you for the nice sharing. We will move on. Yeah, thank you so much. We will move on to the sharing of Amirish Patil Bhaiya. Amirish Ji, Namaste. Hope I'm audible. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. Yeah. Hope I'm audible, Bhaiya. Yes, yes. I will be, I'm just checking yeah. that. Now, I will briefly introduce you, and then we can place your sharing within 20 minutes uh, based on these indicators on screen. G. Amirish Patil Bhaiya. Yes, he is an associate professor in the PDA College of Engineering, Ivan E. Shahi uh, uh, Kalaburgi in Karnataka. And he attended the UHV introductory workshop in March, March 2022. Uh, he is a volunteer, a very active volunteer, I would say, in the weekly meetings. And he takes a few roles like uh, uh, PPI calling etc. in the online meetings also. He is one of the regional coordinators of the Southwestern region of NCCIP. And also he is teaching the UHV content at his college, uh, prepare the syllabus. Uh, we are in contact with that also regarding that. So with this brief introduction, I welcome Amirish Espadil Bhaiya to give his sharing in the morning session. Over to you Amirish Ji. Thank you. Yeah. Namaste Sunilji, Namaste Sharmula Didi, Namaste to co-explorers. Myself, Amaresh S. Patil, teaching for the PG students of Structural Engineering course at PED College of Engineering, Gulbarga. I am 56 years old, having wife Sudha, a housemaker, and two daughters, Shreya and Priya. Shreya completed her B in Computer Science in uh, course very recently, 15 days back, and Priya is doing her PUC1 science. I live with my parents. I have three brothers and two sisters. Two brothers are at different countries, one in USA, another in UK. The third is staying with, with us in the same uh, block where we live. And both sisters are in their in-laws places. My journey in UHV started by attending an introductory five days online FDP from 22nd February to 4th of March, 2022. Done my five days refresher one or UHV one in the month of April and UHV two refresher uh, of six days in the month of May, 2022. All the courses I have done online. Since then, I was regular in attending the weekly meeting only on Sundays. And my journey in this morning session started from the 5th and 6th and now uh, in continuing in the 7th to explore within. Now with human beings through this UHV3, I am able to understand and see only self of human being needs the guidance of natural acceptance for definite conduct with my right understanding of the reality. My work is for Mutual fulfillment leading to harmony in living. Self with right understanding and right feeling is partly working towards common human goal. I am very specifically working towards my basic aspiration that is being in harmony in continuity. With this contest, I would like to say that the relationship with understanding my conduct is, has become very normal in the way I am not disturbed. Like uh, To be very specific, I am going with the construction work on the site. Whatever is happening, I know I have, in the, all the day I am there in the college, but when I go to site, I find, because I am being a civil engineer, I am finding a lot of mistakes being done with the people around who are working. I only have the feeling that they are lacking in competence and not doing any wrong thing with their intention part. 
i closely call them and update the way it can be improved upon and with the feeling that it get connected to the other and and the and the human interaction has become so cordial that the moment i am there they feel like i am in the family and then they come up and update that what was the mistake and how did they rectify so this is what is being with my living right now with the human beings with the nature i am able to see very clearly all the three units in nature are working towards mutual fulfillment enrichment and able to live in harmony which is ever present i being guided with right understanding that i am being a part of the nature is trying not to do wrong conduct with any of the units around now i am able to see the relationship and work towards mutual fulfillment most of the time so this in my own living it has to get improved but it is exhibited in the nature very clearly i am able to see that how one unit is is helping the other feeling the relationship or understanding the relationship and living accordingly so moving on with the existence i am able to see with clarity that all units are submerged in space by this i is related to body and all the units in existence this helps to see the reality of all the units with innateness not with the form and live with relationship with all units and other human beings due to space which is not active all material units in existence including human body is cyclic only consciousness i with the activity of knowing is leading to development which is not cyclic so with this understanding of the existence i do not have any opposition with any of the units around most of the time but i know whenever i slip in my awareness i try to react but i quickly regain my awareness and 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 be able to understand that the self is the one which is driving for understanding and doing those conducts in the way it has to be in with, with the nature and with respect to the existence because i am able to see that myself is is getting energized with with the space itself very clearly understanding emerging out of exercise 1 observing self by self i am able to see that self is a center in me i am able to see body and self are coexisting there is only information being transacted between the two the seer doer enjoyer is the self time to time i give instructions to the body to express the feelings that i have about the other human being or about the work to be carried out by this i am able to see very clearly that the self is using the body as an instrument all the steps in this exercise are helping me to shift my level of observation from b1 to b2 with exercise 2 body is a material unit which has a definite conduct activities in the body are recognizing and fulfilling the requirement of the body are not continuous body to be in harmony i need to be self organized and become self regulated towards the body that is nurturing protecting and reutilizing all the sense all the sensation sent by the body is received or read by the self on choice my expression and the labor with the body is definite only when it is in line with natural acceptance of the self which leads to harmony in living if the imagination is guided by preconditioned in sensation my conduct will be indefinite and i am getting disturbed this i am very clearly able to see with all my family members around whenever i drift in my awareness i react looking with the with my own spouse whenever i am there interacting with her the moment the the thought process or the discussion is not in line with my understanding i i slip i slip with the awareness because i am i am operating at the level of body so this i am really clearly able to see and and bring back my ship my 
my observation within so that my conduct becomes and my feelings i am able to correct those feelings and act accordingly in line so that we mutually are able to live in a in a, in a better state so with the changes with this uhv3 content my exploration has reached to the core of feeling in the self most of the time but i also have a few moments of discomfort in self when i lose my awareness i am i am now able to see relationship with all human beings and all units around to me surrounded to me my understanding of the self and body as a coexistence and one and main focus being on self this is possible only when i look within hence working on all the self most of the time with and with the harmony within now work towards mutual happiness and mutual fulfillment with the other human beings and all units when i see existence is coexistence so earlier i used to think either i should look within or i should only look outside now with uhv3 and with didi always emphasizing that the the moment can be from the top to the bottom and from the bottom to the top this is is got clear with ganesh ji on the last 3 days when he has focused upon how this journey of my own living can shift from the b2 level to the b b1 level that is selecting and tasting and from from the selecting and tasting to the other side that is from inner to the body and from body to the inner so this is what i am able to see very clearly i am now focused on accepting the situation and work towards participating at the larger order with understanding and right feeling i am able to see existential reality that is harmony and align my feelings by which my expression is definite with the help of uhv content i am able to see the body is a material entity and needs are not continuous i is able to see the need of the body with self regulation since 8 months i have not taken any medicine i am keeping good health and my weight has reduced by 8 kg by only implementing one proposal that is not having more than the required family members are able to see changes in me and the environment is far better than earlier and my approach for all day to day issues is solution centric and what i can do with focus being on self lot of old sanskars are emerging during my living i get the sensation which are not in line with natural acceptance i am able to see and act accordingly and bring my feelings in line with harmony with my expression is with harmony relationship and coexistence with the other human beings and rest of the nature commitment i am able to see that the self development is the only one which is helping my living and other human beings and rest of the nature i will be doing at least 2 hours of volunteering henceforth and 2 hours of my self development which is once again related uh, for my self development because i know there are a lot of old sanskars in me which do emerge and for all that i have to put efforts i my awareness has to be there so it is only possible when i am being there connecting myself for for my own development and the societal development so that my participation becomes helpful this i am able to connect myself because the content clarity is the one which is helping me to connect with all this understanding in myself because whenever i go to class i i initially when i started this proposals being put to the students i always started with stating but even even now i am in in a state of state in the state in uh, mode only but the shift is is happening gradually that i am now helping the other for the exploration helping the other and by exploration can only happen when there is a clarity of the content in myself so this is what is the journey of my happening within and with the institution with the family with the people whom i am getting associated so that my understanding has to go for their my living first and then it can connect to the others living because only then they are able to see because initially when i when i was able to connect to this content i was excited about 
and i was trying to uh, emphasize on this content to the people around but now it is not so because i know that i had taken this so much of long years to understand this and and the other will also some take some time and and it it, it is only my participation only my uh, uh, my extension of being making them aware of their own self that if if i am able to do that will be the great part because being as a teacher in an in a college i am getting uh, this opportunity of putting these proposals to the young minds so that this is they are right now i'm able to see even that they, they are not that focused upon but i also know that with this content in their baggage it is going to help in 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 their living in the future so with all this i uh, my heartful gratitude to the entire uchu family which has helped me in my self exploration and 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 the support of the family also in this because i am always there uh, trying to think about uh, uh, what really is happening how this content is going to come in me because every time uh, any any part of the day when i am not working with any other things it is always this is is down priority this content clarity is on priority and uh, and and once again thanks for the acit for considering this major issue in the society and thought of comprehensive solution and involving teachers in this task uh, is is what i feel uh, is, is an appreciable part and and thanks for each and everyone who is uh, patiently hearing about me and and and, and thanks for the co explorers who put on those issues of of mine also and so that i get reconnected and i get uh, re uh, realigning myself to the reality so this is what is the journey thank you bhaiya thank you for the opportunity thank you sharmila devi thank you everyone thank you amrish bhaiya for the rene nice sharing yeah very uh, beautifully you have exemplified the points very crisply in a in within the separate time so we will go to the question straight away we have uh, uh, devi prasan misra ji with us namaste devi prasan ji namaste sunil bhaiya namaste amrish bhaiya namaste bhaiya namaste sharmila ji and all <coughs> uh, i am facing the same problem like you uh, that uh, you 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 are concerned about your overweight and uh, you started taking as as it is required yeah and i think the same problem and uh, i am getting a resistance from my family members that they are insisting on to take more because if you don't take more then you'll feel you'll be weak and all that and how you convince uh, the situation was like that in your in your case or not or if it is there then how you convinced in the light of uhv yeah bhai it is very true because whoever i meet around even with the family everyone is concerned about uh, my looks they are telling that you have got on you are just looking like a patient and all that but yeah yeah and <laughs> this is their way and and all that family people are worried about but i am not getting disturbed because i know i know that i am full of energy i am not facing any difficulty as such i have not even gone with checking with but uh, i i i have that understanding that i am not eating more than what is required so even when i sit with the friends they they do complain about this and they tell that okay you are doing wrong about your body and this is not for the punishment and all that but my and sometimes even they ask to, to go to the uh, asking that question that how do you stop how do you feel that you are satisfied even that was a discussion on some days but very very comfortably and coolly i say that see that awareness has to be there within so where do i stop is is, is what uh, sharmila devi has put every time in, in her uh, in her narration or with the content clarity for all of us that 
that that feeling part of of what is good what is nurturing you and how much it is required to you uh, that it is the only one self can decide about not the other other can always facilitate even even right now when these are all the, all the people are saying around me about this I, I do not get disturbed about even for a might be for a minute they they when i think that okay if i'm not looking look wise with the, in a better way is that i should go back so then what have, what is that i am doing about then when i think for a minute then i, I say to no whatever i am doing is fine because i am healthy you know? i am comfortable i am able to conduct all my day to day job in a better way than what i was that lethargy is not there that that sleepy mode when i have more than what is required is not there absolutely and i am always fresh and i always feel that okay the self is the one which is trying to guide this so the uh, the intent was not there is by the the weight i was only trying to emphasize about about how i can uh, look at myself I, and live with it that was my core and even yeah. now the family is is worried definitely but but once again i ask do you want me to look better or should you want me to uh, have a good health then the, then they stop about these complaints yeah Oh yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Vijay. It is connecting to, uh, in fact, many of us, as you can see in the chat box. Also, there are some messages. Now we, before we go to the question of uh, Srinivas Gupta ji, I request uh, Shamla Didi to uh, give the remarks and comments regarding uh, Amresh Patil bhaiya sharing. Shamla Didi, over to you. Ji, namaste, Amresh ji. Nice yeah, namaste, sharing. Didi. Nice sharing. Uh, I was hoping for some more of real life examples um, in your day to day okay. living. Um, mm -hmm. But I guess um, perhaps next time, um, maybe jot down a few things so that uh, we can recall them easily when we are doing our sharing. Um, because, you know, having the content as information is one part but in our living when it is when we are able to connect with the family with the you know, other people around us and relate specific incidents it helps others also to be able to see for themselves how things are going so um perhaps next time we can have some more real life examples of in your day to day living how it has made a difference uh, like initially what you shared about the site that was nice similarly some more you know um, examples to clarify uh, your understanding that was one thing yeah. Yeah. Uh, very appreciative that you are doing a lot of volunteering um, it's not been that long since you started and um, the exploration is there and along with that the volunteering activity is certainly helpful so continue with the volunteering and the fact that you're taking the course in your college that also makes a lot of difference you can become the role model for your students based on your conduct. So what yeah, this question often comes up that um, how we can convince others. So we don't have to struggle to convince anybody. We just need to work on ourselves, improve our conduct. And when we talk to others, leave the proposals with them and as they see our conduct becoming more and more definite, they get reassured in us. And then they will start listening also or paying attention to us. And yeah. we won't need to convince, like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, nice. Continue your exploration. Continue with your volunteering. All the very best to you. 
thank you Didi. thank you this whatever i just said na didi i had not written basically i just That's i just brought up because mm-hmm. you you just chandrakala didi you, you intervened and asked for that uh, what is that you are able to see na so with that i just uh, spoke about these things i had not i have not written didi these things ji so maybe next time you can yeah, yeah. definitely didi so that you can you know write down the incidents because yeah, i know definitely. when you're talking immediately at that time you may not recall many of the things. yes yes didi yeah definitely didi definitely help others no to explore yeah, yeah. yes yes didi yeah i'll intervene and help the others thank you thank you move forward now so uh, a few announcements very quickly before we go to the questions of uh, srinivas kaya and suri ganji So tomorrow we'll be having sharing by Rajinish Kumar ji and Neetu Chauhan ji. There are many dates open on 7th, 8th, 9th we have 7th and 8th we have only one sharing. 9th we have a sharing by Bhagishri uh, Didi in Hindi and we can have one more sharing there. 10th date is open. So like we see if you can see in the chat box there are many dates which are open. We can take two sharings at least two sharings in a uh, day. So I request if you did not give your name for sharing please volunteer and give your name that is one thing you can also see in the chat box the links to join the monthly meeting so this month's meeting will be on sunday tomorrow 6 august tomorrow 11 am in hindi and 3 pm in english so we have uh, the keynote address on uh, universal human values and their impact a teacher's perspective so please attend the meeting listen to the uh, the proceedings and participate in the sharing to mention, uh, sorry to interrupt yes. i just want yeah. to mention here dr veena bansal who has been working with some students at iit iit kanpur she will be sharing her experiences when she did the workshop and how the students have responded so it should be very interesting and i believe there has been she has herself been surprised by what she found so i think if all of us listen in it will be a learning experience for us all ji thank you for that uh, uh, adon so this is what i have to announce uh, for today so i request all the coaches to participate and help others also to participate other teachers to participate in the monthly meeting yeah so we have uh, one minute left out so we can quickly go to srinivas ji's question namaste namaste uh, namaste chandra ji namaste to all my coaches uh, my question is a simple uh, amrish bhai uh, namaste uh, yes, yes, have you observed any shift in the student behavior uh, by solving uh, student problems or any uh, issues yeah Yeah, but yeah, the students are not coming with any issues because they feel uh, uh, that uh, there is something that is they want to hold them themselves. But in the last week onwards, I am able to see the there is bit of transformation uh, that is happening with the content because I had come to a stage where I am now trying to explain them the existence. So right now, uh, those proposals of the existence is is that connecting, and I hope. Uh, Uh, now they start about uh, their uh, journey with the entire content they put at their own level at third semester and fourth semester hope that trans- because uh, there are another two more years in the in the campus do here so i will be connecting themselves with the cell being operated at the institution hope uh, they will be active volunteers uh, in the subsequent days for the for the next batches to come so i am very focused about that uh, but the efforts are going to yield but uh, with some results but Uh, we have need to hold ourselves with uh, with the right understanding about but because every every self is going to take its own time to understand yes yes uh, thank you everyone thank you. nice thank, uh, you. thank you thank you thank you srinivas ji for the question and amrish ji for the response so i thank amrish ji and chandrakala ji for their sharing today which helped all of us for sure and all the co-explorers for their active participation and listening and asking questions in this english part of the morning session thank you shabla didi for the uh, enriching remarks